Stand firm. Stand firm. Today we have come together to celebrate and honor fathers and the special men who have participated in the role of fatherhood in some form or fashion. Men who taught skills and has, has taught us skills and tenderness, played with us, worked for us, loved us, advised us, prayed for us, and watched over us like God the Father watched over and took care of the Israelites. Today we say thank you, thank you to those fathers who worked to provide more than shelter, who provided a home for their children. Today we honor those fathers who attend church with their families instead of dropping them off. Today we celebrate those fathers whose love for their children is modeled on God's love for all children. Today we thank God for loving fathers and for all those men, though not biological fathers, who have cared for us, supported us, nurtured us, and celebrated our successes. However, I know that all fathers can certainly testify that the role of a father is not easy. I know many mothers have told their children to go ask your father. Early on, this teaches children who is the head of the household the final decision maker, which oftentimes puts fathers in the role or position or role of having to exercise tough love. I would dare to argue that the text from Ephesians 6, chapter 6, verses 11 through 18 is one of the texts that is fitting on this Father's Day that tells us about putting on the whole armor of God. You see, fathers must stand firm against all the forces that can enter into his household by way of outside influences. The cosmo powers of the present darkness the spiritual forces of evil that will cause confusion, separation, flaming arrows of the tongue, and an attitude that disrupts the peace in the home. Being a father is indeed assuming many roles and positions. I somewhat think of a father as taking on the various positions interconnected with baseball. Do we have any baseball fans out there? Baseball fans. A father is the owner of the team. The father is the manager. The father is the coach. The father is the umpire. The father is the pitcher. The father is the shortstop. And at times take on other positions on the baseball field. A father may hit a home run or he may strike out. See the ball coming, confident that he's going to catch it and it goes right over his head. He hits the ball, runs as fast as he can, slides into first base, yet not fast enough, and he's out. Sometimes he hits a home run. And then it's time for a family celebration, <laughs> amen? But all in all, no matter what role, what position a father has, he must remain alert, stand firm, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of the Lord's power. This can only be accomplished by putting on the armor of God so that he may be able to stand firm and withhold evilness. So fathers, I'm getting ready to close, this is just short. So, so, so fathers, 
Fasten the belt of truth around your waist. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Put shoes on your feet to be ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. Take the shield of faith. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You have to have the word of God in your household. Prayer to give you knowledge. Pray without ceasing so that you may have discernment wisdom, patience, so that you can stand firm, raise your children, teach your children, be a role model for your children, know their close friends and their parents. Oftentimes we don't even know the parents of the children that we let our children hang around with, go out with, go to the movies, do whatever. And, and, and you need to know, what do those parents believe in? What do they believe in? Who do they believe in? Don't get so busy that you leave everything to the mother of the household. After all, didn't God create man first? Adam, he did create. God told Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, and he was. There were men in the Old Testament who were great prophets. God sent his only son, Jesus, into the world for us. Jesus, with his disciples, went out to the world to preach the gospel. These men, all of them, had responsibility, responsibility, responsibility. Fathers, you just have your own household. You don't have a nation to worry about. You have your own household. Don't neglect your responsibility. I challenge you to put on the whole arm of God and stand firm. And so this morning, as I leave you on my last Sunday, indeed it is fitting that I am talking to the fathers. Indeed it is fitting. Fathers, just hold up your end. Take on your roles and responsibility in the home as men of the church. Take on your roles and responsibilities of leadership. In a church, it's always the women, always the women in the church who have and take on the leadership roles. You will find that in any church. It's the women. But now I don't want to talk about the women, but God did send out the women. He did send the women out but he did create man first. So men of the church, men of your household, those men who have taken on fatherhood roles in your church by nurturing the children, you may not have children of your own, but you are a father in taking on fatherhood in nurturing and loving and caring for the children that you come in contact with. So I say to you, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you. And I say to this church, God bless you, God keep you, and, and, and continue to move forward with desire and hope for the future. Can I hear that? Yes. Moving forward with what? moving forward with desire and hope for the future. And what else you're gonna to go to do, men? Jesus chose the fishermen. What are you supposed to do, men? You are supposed to go what? Go fishing and make disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.